Hi everyone, so Matt, back here at Rancher. Uh, so I've gotten quite a few questions about the coop, size, dimensions, everything that I did. Uh, there were no plans, everything was all in my head, uh, but I'm gonna kind of walk through, give you kind of a walkthrough of everything that I did, and uh, come check it out. All right, so first things first. Uh, the biggest thing that I wanted with this coop is full accessibility. I was so tired of all the store-bought coops that you get that you can open up one tiny little door on the coop and that's the only way that you clean. So if I was doing this, everything had to come off, all the walls had to come apart, everything had to be super easy and convenient to clean. So let me show you the first thing I do. So I have hinges on these guys, latches. Each panel comes completely off. So I have four panels, one, two, three, and four on the other side as well, and I'll walk around and I'll show you those. But basically each panel comes off. And I wanted every single panel to come off because I can get my entire body in there. So I can clean it, check on the chickens. Uh, I don't get eggs through this side. I'll walk around and show you the other egg, where I get the eggs. Um, but occasionally, I've, if you've been following my stories, you'll see the chickens for some reason have decided they wanted to start laying in the bedding underneath the roost. Um, so I've been having to deal with that and I have to open this door in order to actually go in there and get them. So I'll show you that here. All right, give you a close up image here of the door. So each one of the doors has this locking hinge, or excuse me, locking hasp, uh, essentially that the carabiners go through. That's how it locks both sides. The way that it actually sits in there because I don't have true hinges, I didn't want the door to hinge out or open this way or open that way. I wanted to be able to fully remove it so I could get all the way in there and clean. So the way that I did it is I took these L brackets, okay? I put them in the corners. I used a bolt, I think it's about an inch and a half, two inches. Uh, and that actually is where the door sits down onto. So flipped over the door here, as you can see, right? So here's the door, turn it upside down. So you can see that I drilled a hole there and a hole on that side. And basically what it does is those two holes, it will just sit down on those two. It'll rest in place so it doesn't go all the way through. There's a piece of wood in the frame here. So it rests up against this piece of wood and then locks back into place. So same thing with this one, you can see. So it's got, it's got some wiggle to it, but it can't come out because it is essentially in these two bolts. Um, but that way I can remove all the doors. So there's one door, two doors, three doors, four doors. So all four doors open, all four doors come off. Uh, so I can get it fully into the coop, clean it out, pull everything out, do whatever I need to do to it. So, which is exactly how I built it. So inside here, we have the roost. I use two by fours. I've done round dowels. I've done two by threes. I find that they enjoy the two by fours the most. Uh, I just kind of smooth off the edges. The chickens don't actually perch onto anything, they actually like to sit on the roost. So they'll sit down with their feet and then their feathers will go over their feet and that's how they keep their feet warm. Um, so when people put roosting bars where they actually have to claw around, they're not like most birds. They don't like to actually claw around the bar. They like to sit on it and then lay down. So these two by four seem to work the best. So I have one at the top height, middle height, and then one at a lower height. They almost never use this bottom one. They all cram up to these top two. So that's, that's chickens for you. So we'll go around here. So I made on this part of the door, I'm still working on the feeding system, but essentially I have two little locks. They open. This is what my feeding system is. Uh, I'm still working on, I, I need I need to fix this. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm working on something else. So I need to do something where this actually doesn't move around, but for now it's fine. So this gives me a little, I can look inside here at night, make sure everything's fine. If I hear a loud crashing noise without having to take off one of these doors entirely, I can just lift this up and I have full access. As far as the nesting boxes, so I have three nesting boxes. So each one is just held in place and then opens up. So you can see a couple eggs. I'm still working on the nesting boxes. They need a little bit of fine tweaking. Uh, I'm getting some eggs eaten. Luckily that one's not. Move that out of the way. Uh, little Francis, who's not in here, has been eating all my eggs. So I've had to move them out of the way. So I got three nesting boxes. And what I did is I wanted more access to it. 
So I built the same little door mechanism with the holes in the bottom, L brackets. And now I can actually get down into the nesting boxes and do whatever I need to do. So I have full access into this entire coop. Very easy to clean, very easy to access. On the back side here, uh, this is my watering system, 55 gallon drum. Uh, I'm gonna do another video that kind of goes through that. I've, I've had to make a lot of tweaks to it. Uh, when I first started it, it, I was trying different things. It was leaking, I was having issues, but I think I figured it all out now. Now I'm just trying to figure out the best possible watering methods. Uh, so I'll walk through that on another video, but you can see same thing. Four doors here, uh, four doors each one. Each one comes off. That one's a little harder to get off, but I can get that one off. Uh, since I'm on this side, so I do have venting. So obviously the big thing with chickens is airflow. Uh, there's a lot of ammonia buildup because of their poop. So everything is venting. Uh, all the things open here, but you can see it's in half inch by inch, uh, 16 gauge wire mesh. I don't mess around with any of the chicken netting or chicken whatever. It just doesn't work, it's too big holes. So I find, I had uh, I had inch by inch on a previous coop and rats were getting in. They were somehow squeezing between an inch and an inch square. So I changed it to inch and half inch and I have not had any issues since. Uh, I used the Galvalume metal roofing. Uh, that was probably the most difficult thing was trying to get this pitch. I'm definitely not a roofer, but uh, I was able to get it to most of my liking. Uh, if I could do it over again, there's a few things I would change, but for the most part, it, it works well. Uh, I also have these big six inch holes here and they go all the way through to the other side. That brings a lot of fresh air in and out, as well as obviously the two sides where the roofing meets the rest of the coop. You can see all the excess airflow here. Uh, coming out this way, this is more just aesthetic. So. Did a little succulent garden. I've done herbs. Herbs didn't work out well. I didn't water them enough. So succulents are perfect for over the chicken area. Uh, the base, so that's pretty much, that's the most of the coop. So, uh, and I'll post some measurements too, but basically this entire footprint is 11 feet by five feet. So I think the coop ends up being seven feet by five feet. And I think it's three feet to that square part. And then I think this is about a foot. So I think the full thing is about 48 inches. Uh, I tried to stay at right about four feet. I didn't want it to be too high. As you can see, I have a fence line, so I didn't want this to go too far over my fence line. Um, so basically everything is a box, and that's kind of how that I build it, is everything is a frame, right? It all starts out square. So everything is a frame, and inside the frame, there's another frame, right? So the entire frame, and then the door sits inside of the opening. This was probably the most challenging part actually build the pitch of the roof this is my first go around and trying to do it or my second go around because technically the rabbit cage was first uh, so I learned a lot from the first one I've also learned that I didn't actually do it all entirely correct that is supposed to be folded over to look nicer uh, I'll probably eventually fix that but for now it works I'm in Southern California we don't get a lot of rain so I'll be okay uh, all right so the rest of the coop we have all the little boxes here, uh, multiple openings. So this is where I let them out to come outside. Just a little, you know, gate latch that I lock. So everything I do, I make sure that I put a lock through it uh, or a carabiner through it just so that nothing bumps in or opens it up. We don't get really, I guess we have possums here, but we don't have coyotes or raccoons or really anything. So I'm not too worried, but better safe than sorry. Uh, that same L bracket mechanism of putting the door in is exactly what this bottom piece is so this bottom piece comes off entirely so that's how i can get in and actually rake the bottom so that's one side and then the exact same thing on this side this entire thing comes off too this guy opens i already took the carabiner off that and that's how i access inside here to get to the water so i try not to crawl through this too many times I'll usually pull the whole thing off. So this entire piece comes out, that entire piece comes out, all the doors come off. And then as far as the run goes, I have a little door. This door basically just holds in place with a uh, chain. So I can actually take this off, push it down, and that will actually separate the coop 
from the run. So I've done that where I'm trying to keep chickens separated. Uh, I've done that for timeouts, especially for Ethel there. Sometimes she'll go after the other girls, so I'll put her in here and then leave the coop door open so everyone can come in and out. But basically I can partition it off as I want to. Uh, each one of these tops, so here's the run. I think the run ends up being about, I think it was 40 feet. Yeah, it's just about 40 feet, maybe 42 feet. Um, so a decent size run, so 42 feet by about two feet. And I think it's a two and a 30 inches tall is what it is. Uh, but I wanted to be able to access it. So I needed it to go along my fence line so that it wasn't in everything. Uh, obviously the chickens running around and stuff, but I need to be able to access everything. So I put hinges on the back. So every single one of these eight foot panels can actually open and then I get full access to the run. So this is where I'll throw treats in there for them. Um, obviously this is clean it. I don't really clean it very often because I don't need to. Uh, they're scratching and breaking everything down. So I have not had an issue. When I mow my lawn, I cover it entirely with grass and that kind of helps break down any of the poop that's in there. So I haven't had any issues. The only time I had to clean it out was when it was raining uh, because I mistakenly was using hay on the bottom, uh, alfalfa hay, and it wasn't actually decomposing. It would actually just sit there and create like a marsh. So I had to take all that out and then replace it with some other dirt. So that was a lot of fun in the rain. Uh, and then over here, so every once in a while I'll section off. So I have Zeus, our new Flemish rabbit. He's in there right now. He's in the cage with Hodor, just kind of bonding, but I'll keep him in here and keep it separated. So I put a little roof on top. Those are my tomatoes. Uh, I'm having a little fun too. I'm, I put a bunch of barley in here, so I'm gonna do, start doing fodder. But I just wanted to. I don't know. I was bored, so I threw a bunch of I threw a bunch of barley in there and I sprouted it up, sprouted it up. So as soon as it's a little bit higher, I'll pull this little fence off, and then all the chickens go at it. Be a good time. So everything closes down. So this is actually the one inch. That I was saying the one inch by one inch squares the rats were getting into. I haven't had an issue from the top down but I was having an issue on the sides. So I had to go through, take all this off and replace it with the one inch by half inch 16 gauge wire mesh. And uh, that's it. So it's pretty cool. Uh, worked out well, all from my head, nothing, no plans or anything. I've, I've seen plenty of videos and watched uh, multiple builds just to kind of get some ideas, but I wanted to do whatever was gonna work for me. And uh, so far so good, so. Strongly recommend DIY. It makes the best way. That way you get all the things you worked out, uh, everything that you want done with it, and everything you don't, don't include it. Next thing I gotta do is I gotta fix these nest boxes a bit. I realized that leaving them open like that is not working, so I'm gonna close them up a bit and uh, make it a little more private, so. That's it, if you have any questions, please post some comments. Uh, happy to answer anything I can. Thanks guys.